Enola Patmos TV Entertainment. Oware Khamenya, Mayo, Oh, Imojisha. Why my double mind? That's how we real. Eh, he didn't hear daughter we na. Ona ude ni ni asaware gbel di. Oware Khamenya. He was a boy. Trust him. He will read it for it. What's wrong? You can talk to me. When they were bringing me to America, they didn't tell me that it's prostitution work I'm coming to do. I didn't know. Why don't you just go back to Africa? I, I want to, but I cannot. This place is as if I'm like a like like a prisoner inside here. I cannot go. Because I want to go to America. I'm making hate me. No time is in that because of woman you want to go yak you. Eh? Take a wrong turn down the way. How long do you think so it would take before they free us from you? No idea, my friend. So no blame me, This kind of thing is not supposed to happen to a person. They feel safe for us. Leave the past in the past. This is your reality now. I need to tell you everything. It's destiny. If you continue to defy me, I will continue to take everything we matter for your life. Would you like to return home? No matter the weather, no say I go there right there. You're always a part of me. More than just a dream. able to ask like two three families about their ex personal experiences about this whole process of wanting to travel at all by any means you know and uh, I didn't I ended up figuring that um, people are layered into these things sometimes and sometimes uh, it, it, uh, like peer pressure you know and um, because there's a certain community that feels oh, okay all my sons and daughters are not in the country so why are you still here so you should be embarking on such journey as well can't you see other families and all you know so a lot of perspective but like i said uh no matter what role you're giving as an actor you still have to bring it to a place that is convenient for you one and at the same time you have to liken it to your own situation as well so um i see myself also in the same shoes but um like i said it's uh, it's an individual thing to be solid enough to make a mind of your own because when that's done, it helps every other decision you, 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 know, you ended up making. So uh, part of the campaign, apart from the fact that, okay, human trafficking, symposiums, seminars, and all of that are all over the place, drama makes it more stronger. Because with, with, uh, with drama backing such message up, it retains the message. So the emotion behind the message sticks. So it's not just uh, a watch and pass. It's something you watch and you'd want to watch again in case uh, you must have forgotten maybe a few things about what you want to do. So 
stuff like you know using drama to tell stories like this helps a lot and uh, I'll implore everybody to come out please support this movie Kenani support it come to cinema watch share with friends and you know advertise it and make you know make it all out for them thank you <laughs> Me, basically, I've never felt that way. I've never felt the urge. Why? Because um, my job is more of a purpose for me than a nine to five. So meaning, um, the reason why I'm doing this is for the main reason itself, not because I'm looking for fame, not because I'm looking for money, because I know once um, your purpose is set right, every other thing will fall in line. Money will come, fame will come. But if you're doing it right, you already know you're doing it right. So I've never had the urge to. So for me, I think, this is my bane of business and I'm enjoying every bit of it. So, uh, and I would like everybody to, because my shoe, no fee, if you don't size you, do you understand? So I'm, I'm only talking from my perspective, based on the question you ask. So if it is personal, then I feel I want to stay back and walk more here, most especially to affect people's lives positively, because our job, we're like preachers, do you understand? Either we tell you the good stuff or we tell you the bad stuff. Hey guys, my name is Ivie Okujaye. We're here at the premiere for Kanani. I play Obehi in this movie. It's amazing. It has a fantastic cast. It was produced by amazing people. So I know you want to see it. Go check it out in cinemas across the nation. We love what we worked on and we hope you love it as much as we do. Hi guys, my name is Jennifer Myro and I'm the producer of the movie Kenani. I'm so excited that finally Kenani is going to be showing in theaters across Nigeria. Um, the story is very important and very relevant in the Japa era, um, as we've come to know. Um, the film is centered around human and sex trafficking and it just more than anything shows that Nigerian youths are tenacious and they're energetic and they're passionate and they're determined and they can achieve whatever they put their mind to, as we'll come to see in the movie. Um, another thing that Kenani truly shows is it shows the other side of um, the, fa you know, the victims of, the, of um, human trafficking. So oftentimes we would just see the person who is involved, they travel and their experiences. This time we get to see what, from the viewpoint of like their family and their lovers and things like that. So I think it's really going to um, hit home for a lot of people. So make sure you guys are watching Kanani in theaters starting September 15th. Thank you. Um, filming Kanani was extremely, um, I, wouldn't, I don't like using the word difficult, but it was definitely daunting and tasking. Um, we filmed in the US and we filmed in Nigeria. Um, and we had to fly um, a lot of our crew members from the US and brought them to Nigeria. So apart from the cost, also just managing the number of crew and just ensuring that everybody's safe because we started filming right after COVID so we're doing a bunch of COVID tests while we were on set. Um, all of that stuff was pretty daunting but overall the end result is well worth it and I can't wait for y'all to see it. Well it always feels great. I always feel on top of the water in my mouth to see a great film produced by my colleagues, my friends and in the industry. You know? I always say when you see the lineup of actors and the crew members on a particular project you can always tell that it's a great film. And you know, I don't want to say too much. You have Gabby now, you understand, trust him. You understand, so I know it's going to be a great film, you know. So I'm just here to have fun, to see a great film, and to just, you know, support talent, support hard work. The, the country is tough, you understand, but then uh, we're still pushing, and all of us can all jack bar. Somebody will have to be here to fix it, so that's why we're still chilling. But I can tell you, sometimes you just want to. Let me just leave, let me go and see what is happening somewhere else, you understand, so that's it. Hi, my name is Hero Daniels, the local man with the Global Appeal, and I am super excited to be live at the premiere of Kanani, you know, not all Japa, not Japa. Um, I think this movie is very special. Uh, I saw the trailer and I couldn't, couldn't wait to actually see the entire movie. From the trailer, I have lots of expectations. First of all, the cinematography was really great. Um, the actors were some of my favorite actors and I can't wait to see what the, they're able to deliver in the movie. So I have very high hopes and I, I know and I'm very sure that they wouldn't disappoint. Um, mass migration is a very, very, very important conversation and having to interpret it via a film, it's very applaudable and big ups to the producer and you know, big ups to everybody that uh, made this movie happen. So I'm super excited, super excited. You guys should check it out too, yeah? Not all Japa is Japa, Kenani the movie. Hey everyone, my name is Annie Itcha and I'm happy to be here. I'm at the Kanani movie premiere 
Um, I'm looking forward to it. I hear it's a really good movie. Um, great actors, people that I love, you know, the work, I love the work they do. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, great director as well. Um, I'm excited. I hope that it's going to be a great... Hi, my name is Ola. Um, I'm here representing a free talent agency, which is based in Hollywood, California. And um, we're handling distributions for Kenani the movie. And unfortunately, Sam, who is the CEO, couldn't be here today. And so I'm here representing him. I mean, I have high hopes for Kenani. It's... Um, it's a movie I'm really looking forward to seeing. I'm super excited. I'm happy till I was able to pull this off in spite of all the challenges he faced during production. I mean, this was shot during COVID, so there were so many issues, so many challenges. The budget was like times two of the original cost. But hey, he pulled it off and here we are. And we're happy at a pre-talent agency to help him with distribution across the United States and also across um, digital platforms across the world. Hi guys, my name is Abubu. I am here for the movie premiere of, um, how do we pronounce it? Kami! <laughs> so uh, I'm here to have fun, I'm here to see something uh, something uh, explosive. So yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> so catch you guys inside. Bad Moss. And of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Bad Moss TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much guys. And Enola Padmos TV Entertainment without bounds.